remember when Nintendo 64 came out? Yeah. Like, that was, like, violence. That was gnarly. I was in 15? Fighting age, but yeah. not convicting age. Yeah, yeah. Well, we have a lot of horrible ideas. Pretty much every day. There's oil fires and frogs bouncing everywhere. Places <laughs> burning down day one. Hey, you stink, big hey, man. You stink, <laughs> boy. Stink. Got frog burgers, stink. and we got six different types of milk. Hey, hey, hey Lord. Okay, take it easy, dude. I run a chainsaw. We're going to design the ultimate heist getaway vehicle. Pretty much dead. Yeah. I've What'd you do? <coughs> sorry, guys. Wow. I'm sorry. They're driving right now, Dave. Not anymore. They're they driving. Cry? They've wrecked. Keep <laughs> your hands on the wheel, except for right now, I want you to take them both off and comment about Dave being disgusting on the open of the show. <laughs> <laughs> nice Make sure, burp, Dave. <laughs> no, say, say Take your wheels. Hands say, off the wheel, <laughs> Dave. We need you to resign. <laughs> no, we, we're not, not doing fire, fire Dave, Dave two it's, it's resign, Dave. Like Dave, just just on your own accord, quit. No, I, I am a partner this time. I cannot be impeached. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you can resign. That's true. You you, you can. No, what'd you do to this? You'd put something in here. I, I feel weird. I made too much food. Yeah, but I've been making food since 5 p.m. yesterday. And what'd you put in it, though? Love? No. I feel weird. <laughs> thickness. <laughs> what is I thickness? Made a, I is made that a lot a, of thick dishes. Is that MSG? Probably. <laughs> Every dish that I made was heavy. You put MSG thick, in yeah. Thanksgiving dinner here? How many dishes did you make today? Or in the last two days? 48 hours. Seven? Oh, God. Seven, I believe. What's wrong with you? I made the turkey... I did the dressing. I did the mashed potatoes. I did uh, deviled eggs. I did a peanut butter pie. Stuffing. I did, uh, banana banana pudding. pudding. Stuffing. Yeah, I think I said stuffing. And I didn't ham, hear that. And ham. And a whole ham. Yeah. So you cooked a whole ham yep. and a turkey. Yep. And then you made all this other stuff. I feel like you put Benadryl in it. I put something in it. I put. I think I just put too much of it into my body. <laughs> this is what happened. But I mean, I, th I think that's what you're supposed to do. I don't know. I think everybody does that. Maybe no. I had to. I had to like walk a lap. You, yeah, you. I sat down and I almost couldn't move for a while. I think yeah. I became paralyzed for a bit. Your ligaments froze from. I mean, <clears throat> Brent tattled on you. Yeah. He said you put 18 sticks of butter in that turkey. I put a lot in there. That <laughs> hole was stuck. That's like four and a half pounds of butter, Caleb. I put a lot of butter in that hole, dude. And that's the key. That's how you make a nice wet turkey, dude. You shove the hole in the in the pre-turkey uh, cook before you put the stuffing in. You put four to six sticks of butter inside that <laughs> hole. And it creates like a, a, a butter sauna. Inside, no, you know? dude, the, you might like, as well have poured milk in there. No, that would have been awful. <laughs> you love milk, yeah, but not boiling hot milk inside of a turkey with seasoning like thyme. And, and <laughs> why basil. not? Have you ever tried it? Boiling you, hot milk with basil and thyme. Did no. you see the turkey I was making that had the octopus in it? Yeah, it had probably shrimp in it <laughs> as well, too. Yeah, shrimp stuffed turkey, turkey. Yeah, turkey stuffed shrimp yeah. with crab meat imitation, though. No, but it's fine. I won that crab meat in what? a contest. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I won 80 pounds. In a barrel? No. I mean, they just gave it to you in trash bags. And I didn't have a big enough freezer, so I just had to turn the air conditioning way down. And just eat it fast. Yeah. Well, okay. I mean, it seemed like it was staying just fine. There's yeah. no mold on it. Yeah, it's, it's not vacuum, real. It's, yeah, it's vacuum sealed. It's not real meat, so I don't think it can rot. Yeah, I don't even know what it is. It might be 3D printed. I think it is. Imitation I crab I think they meat? said it's mostly fish that's colored. They're just coloring... Yeah. How ridiculous can, can is that? Can we find that out real quick, Dave? Can we find Why does out? anybody want... Well, imitation crab is made out. I feel like it's like a couple different fish, like tilapia. It's like white fish. And, yeah, and white fish, and then they just die. Why, like why is that a thing, though? It's why weird. would somebody wake up and go, you know what I want? I want someone to, to give me fake crab meat. Yeah, I wish I had crab. You know what? Maybe I'll just get a bunch of I'll fish, some fake crab mush it together, and, we'll paint it. and then paint it red and white. All right, so it's made with uh, surimi, a paste made out of finely shredded or pulverized fish. Uh, after the fish is minced, How do they make it taste like crabs, then? That's what I'm wondering. They're, how do they make... Kool-Aid tastes like whatever color it is. Powder flavored? Exactly. So it's just mushed up other fish. I don't like and that. And then though. chemical flavoring. I don't like that they can make 
fish tastes like crab. That's that's what that's what my whole point is is why I'm fine with powder. Who woke up and was like, you know what we should imitate? Crab. crab. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fine with a powder that tastes like cherries. I'm not fine with a fish paste pressed into a little Now imagine, pinky. you know, eight and a half pounds of this stuff shoved into a turkey. No. With some old bay. No, I'm not going to imagine that. <laughs> and some butter. That's my turkey is that I'm making awful. for you next year. I don't want it. Yeah, it's it's called, you know, it's called my, you know, I've got a good name for it. Let's hear it. I can't Let's tell you. Let's hear it you right yet. now. No, Go I ahead. can't tell you yet. I'm still, <laughs> still it's a good name. Okay. I'm trademarking still, it. I don't okay. want anybody to steal okay. it. Yeah, yeah. don't, you don't know. cuss or say you Turkey names in the first ten minutes. I True. can't. Yeah. I can't cuss nor. I, I don't think I've cussed yet. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. Maybe I don't not. think so. But everybody still has their hands off the wheel that's driving right yeah, now. Yeah, they're still typing. About you guys, Dave. put your phone down real quick. Just take a, a pause your break eyes and just close your, your eyes <laughs> and hold the wheels yeah. hard, but yeah. keep your eyes closed. Yeah. I'm gonna count for you. Three, two. All right, you can open, open your them. eyes. Yeah, yeah. Where are you? Yeah. In the back oh, of, you're driving. You're still on the freeway. If you're still listening, great. You, you, you won. You won the life. You've won, you've won, you've won it all. Life. You, you've won 55 a, a, anyways, more minutes of our so bullshit. 80 pounds of butter. Yeah, yeah. You put turkey. a bunch of butter in it, and it be, it like, what's the word? It's like uh, not a, it's like a steam. It's like a butter steam that That's, goes up in, in all crevices, all the pores so of the turkey. So you're turning butter into a gas. Yep. And then the turkey just soaks it all up, all over, man. It's a very moist turkey. It's like a sauna. Yeah, of butter. Have you ever done this in our sauna? Yeah, sometimes I put butter in there. What? That little, that Why little, are you putting butter that in our little, sauna? That little tray thing that That's you, you, you hung up sense, in there. Yeah, I get rid of that. Butter's a scent. I put butter in there, dude. So you're like, like fattening yourself up? No, uh, it's like an essential oil. No, it's essential oil, dude. Trying to get girls to lick you? <sighs> I wish. I think I wish just that would you think you the, think butter is a good flavor for them? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think girls love butter. Probably. Yeah. Yeah, but like a spritz of Old Spice as well. Okay. Yeah, where they're like, like once you like dry, it kind of hardens in your pores, and then they mm. lick you, and they're and like, you're just like, you look smooth. God, he tastes like cream. Mm, tastes like movie. Wow. Theater. Can I take you home? It's oh. the fastest, fastest you've ever hmm. sealed the deal. Dang. If a girl licks you and you taste of butter. If there's any, if the, the four females that listen to the yeah. show, could you comment too and let us know if you would appreciate yeah, a, a man, man that tasted of butter man constantly. Man tasted of butter, yeah. Yeah, or like, would you be happy if you were washing his laundry and it just smelled of butter? You could but imagine the like, butter out. Yeah, yeah, this is just stained. What are these it's like stains? Crazy. It's butter. You see, it's like, it's my butter. It's the butter, all right. <laughs> my body makes butter instead of sweat. No, you're applying it. No, you're like, oh, yeah. Yeah, you forgot. Yeah, and then she finds a bunch of sticks that look like deodorant, but it's really butter, like, in deodorant form, and you've just been applying it to your All skin. Day, every day. And it's just thick. It's got to give you acne. You gotta, yeah, you're, underneath you're that super... smooth butter, dude, you're Because it's all greasy. Up. Yeah. Yeah. You're sick. <laughs> you can't sweat right when your pores are full of butter. Dude. There's no do, way there's bubbles. Yeah, because like, it's and trying to get burst. Out. <laughs> it's just a bubble of butter that, that bursts with sweat and goo, old skin. That would smell. Yeah, I don't think I want to do this. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah, this is a bad idea. Yeah, yeah, I don't think girls are gonna like that. All right, we're gonna need to put that in the the bad idea yeah, yeah. pile. Brent, are you keeping the bucket for the yeah. ones that we shouldn't revisit? Yeah, if you could just how full that. is that bucket? Oh, half full. It's a 10-gallon bucket, though. So. Yeah, I mean, yeah. that's five gallons worth yeah. of bad ideas. Yeah. <laughs> and paper's thin. Yeah, yeah. So, like, we do, when we just do one fold, too, so it's, yeah. it's not taking up any room. There's a lot in there. Yeah. We have a lot of horrible ideas. Pretty much every day. <laughs> so, yeah, don't do that one. Uh, but, you know, at least put the butter inside your turkey when you cook it, and then, you know... Like you put too much, and you added no, MSG, dude. Why do I feel no, addicted? it wasn't too much. Why do I feel like, like I just ate at McDonald's? That's your favorite. What are you talking about? I know, but it makes me feel like shit every time. Yeah, yeah. but I mean, like, you still love it, so. <laughs> we do a lot of things that we I had good to, for us. I had to get a McRib the other day. I know you it's did. Back, I saw you. It's back, dude. Yeah. It's back. Did it ever leave? Yeah. This it last was, time? It was. It left for good. I don't know I was worried. That. I was worried because it left for good. They did this once before, I think, when I was eight. They said it was gone for good, and then it came back like five years later. 
This is a mean game they're playing. Yeah, psych. Yeah. It's back again. Oh, the McRib has to go get milk. It'll be right back. Yeah. Why do they do that? What do you think? Like, what's the... Maybe that's... Maybe it's how long it takes them to to get the ribs. To get enough fake rib goo or whatever <laughs> it is that they do. I mean, that. it's cut like a rib. Yeah. Why do they do that, though? <laughs> why do they do that? It's aesthetics. <sighs> I don't like it, man. Have you ever seen the sequel to Super Size Me? No. Where the guy opens a chicken restaurant Mm-mm. and he like, he does all this stuff that like, that, that the, the, the fast food industry is just notorious for doing dumb shit. So like, even though he fried the chicken, if you paint black grill marks on it, you can call it grilled and then people think it's healthier. <laughs> mm. With like what kind of paint? I mean, it's like, like food paint. What? Yeah, they got food paint. You got to put that was part of his thing. You had to paint the grill marks on the chicken. Whoa, dude, you've been That's lied extra, to, dude. You've been lied to. Um, yeah, I don't like it. Uh, you know, the imitation crab, the rib. I don't like how they just keep making. They just make goos out of leftover meats or just meats that aren't that tasty. Well, at least with a rib, they're using pork, like ground pork, and making a, a riblet. You think like, that's all they use? Yeah. Yeah? What are you looking at me like that? Um, is McDonald's an honest, healthy corporation? Yes. Says who? Ronald? <laughs> yeah, I'm friends with him, dude. <laughs> yeah. I text him. Yeah. Grimace co-signed. He tickles yeah. me regularly <laughs> with my shirt off. Hey, what's him. going on with you and Ronald? I believe him, dude. I don't like this relationship you have with Ronald. On the because oh, he just, shirt off. Hold on. So I'm looking up the McRib. Uh-huh. Uh, and... It's generally been made available for a short time each year. Most markets where it is sold, typically during the fall. Mm-hmm. Although it is a permanent menu item in McDonald's restaurants in Germany. What the fuck? We won that war. Yeah. So Germany just gets a big rib forever. Always. And we somehow live in America where McDonald's was fucking started. You it was started in, here. in California, Southern California, I believe, right? First McDonald's? I don't know. Dave, are you going to correct me? No. Please? I think it was in I think it was in Simi Valley or uh, I don't know. Didn't you watch the Temecula? founder? It's somewhere. Yeah, it's the first McDonald's. It was two brothers, McDonald's brothers. Can we start our own fast food restaurant where we make something? Do we want to? I kind of do. If if we started a fast food restaurant, I would only want two menu items: oh. hamburger, mm. cheeseburger. Oh, where was it? Uh, Kansas. In Illinois. Oh, wow. We don't want no hot dogs there, Richard? No. no. Hmm. That's Wiener Schnitzel's bag, okay. you know? Um, but I want to do something where we just use some other meat goo and we and we shape it like something else. Like a like a pork burrito? Yeah, just something silly. That's or like, like a why fish burrito? Like, that? like we're just pumping fish into Our like fish a... fish sandwich is just a bunch of fish goo and we make it just look like a, f- a whole fish. Like we put it into the shape of a fish, <laughs> and it's just got a tail. And it's it's all there. The eye and there's an eye. Yeah, you got to put an eye in it. Yeah. Just, uh, all of it's there. What if we explore meats that people aren't really familiar with, like aardvark nuggets? Yeah, like I don't. There's probably it's probably not too illegal. No. <laughs> like let's find a meat that's legal, and we'll shape it into something. Frog silly. burgers. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Dude, there isn't a frog burger. <laughs> <laughs> this is, I, like, I like frog legs. Frog burger. The same frog burger. Yeah, I mean, it's what we do is we boil a whole frog. <laughs> no. Why boil it? No. We're already starting off yeah. wrong. It's just this like orange red frog. Like a venomous frog. <laughs> no, I mean, it turns orange oh, because okay. you dump it into the boiler. Like a lobster. Yeah. <laughs> It changes colors like a lobster. Yeah, yeah. So that's your burger. It's just got it's just <laughs> it's a full arms frog. Right. <laughs> it's like this. <laughs> okay, okay. I like that. Let's let's shape then, some kind of burger. And then into we this shape smack of some frog. horse meat cheese on there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like the idea of a cheeseburger that's just a frog, <laughs> like hang, hanging off. Dude, this front needs and back to be our next billboard. Frog burger coming twenty twenty four. 
but it's just the stamp. You're just you're taking a bunch of other meats and you're shaping it to look like a frog, and he's just hanging off. No, we're getting a real. We're frogs. doing real frogs. Yeah, real frogs. I don't think we can do. That. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. I think we'd have to do some cleaning up. Mamma mia! <laughs> Mamma mia! That's Let a me just go. Oh, I need eight frog burgers. He's just dumping eight frogs in the All big right. pot, <laughs> beating a bucket of frogs Fro- in the into deep the fryer. <laughs> All right, they're jumping out, screaming. <laughs> they jump onto his face. There's water yeah. going everywhere, <laughs> burning everybody. Yeah, there's ga- There's oil fires, the frogs bouncing everywhere. Oh, God. Yeah, that place is burning first time, dude. <laughs> that place is burning down day one. Dude, do you know where we could order like 800 live frogs a day? I bet you they're from Louisiana. Yeah. Probably, yeah. I mean, do you think we could sell 800 frog burgers in a day? Mm, I mean, if we threw like a big event, had some billboards, like a, a maybe a chair, make it a charity what if it's event. It's like the most awful thing you've ever been into, too. Like, <laughs> I'm getting sick thinking about yeah, it. Yeah, dude, are we, like, cl- do we if clean you these boil frogs? the frog when you bite in, it's just pond water that's oh, hot. It's, yeah, it's <laughs> pond water and grease, the, and then like frog guts. <laughs> So and like all the organs, gooey scale body, uh, like slime <laughs> body. So yeah, none of that's good. This isn't good. Yeah, we can't do that. If we make I a proper, sick. we gotta clean him right. We gotta do it correctly. <laughs> I feel sick. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man! Uh, I mean, the frog burger is a good idea. It would just be like a fish sandwich in a in a sense <laughs> if we did it right. Just press a it bunch just has of to frog look. meat. It has yeah. to look real. Man, just looking like a frog would be hilarious. Yeah. With cheese on it. Just having that thing. Like, like this would just be a great photo just to make on. if we were to get a frog and just make it. There's some big ones that bounce around here in the yard. Might we could put him try. on a, a bun with some cheese for a second for a photo. <laughs> just long enough for the photo. That'd be good. <laughs> Black Friday's tomorrow. <sighs> Man. They're, they're just not like how they used to be. Dude, there's no more. I wonder. I wonder if that's intentional, though. Yeah, like, like, hey, why don't you see if like did the government get involved and be like, hey, you guys got to stop this Black Friday shit because stop like, fighting. dude, like 2010, 2012, 2015, like you were watching fucking mob brawls. Yeah, people over Walmart, like people were dying, like literally just dying in WalMarts and malls and stuff. Dude, when I was trampled. Yeah, when I was, well, that's because there was a reason, like. You weren't getting like ten to thirty percent off like this bullshit sales, like it was like ninety percent off of a TV, and there are six of them. Yeah, yeah, two hundred and fifty dollars for this fifty inch. People are like, what? What? Like, and that was like those were expensive back. Yeah, dude, my first they were like twelve hundred plasma TV. I had to finance. It was like thirty eight hundred dollars. It was a fifty inch. You can buy like eight of those for two hundred bucks at Best Buy. The first thing I bought with my like first. return check from college was a, a big TV. I bought a, like a 55 inch and it was like a thousand dollars back then. And yeah. Now, like what can, did everybody buy when they came back from their first appointment? Yeah. It's like, you've got dipshits it with a new overfinanced car mm-hmm. and like the biggest TV they can afford in a 100 square foot barracks room. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That was it. Hmm. But yeah, dude, I remember like people got trampled. Well, like also too, there used to always be, like, one toy mm-hmm. everybody was after. Like, remember when Nintendo 64 came out? Yeah. Like, that was, like, violence. That was gnarly. Um, yeah, you were talking about the Tickle Me Elmo, too. Yeah, Tickle yeah, Me Elmo. Yeah, that one. Everybody went nuts. Beanie like, Babies. Why like they had the be- so, did yeah. so many people want the Tickle Who Me Elmo? Who gives a fuck about a yeah, Tickle Me I mean, I like, guess for the babies, but, like... Yeah, but still, it's a, it's a fucking doll that goes... Bah, 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 bah. Yeah, he was annoying as shit. Oh, God, it was awful. Had Anybody him. that had one, I took yeah, the batteries out. Yeah, uh, I went with my mom and my sisters one time for when the PS3 came out. That I would. You been, went to Black Friday? Yeah, we did a Black Friday. You went Friday. to the fucking battlefield? Yeah, because there was some bullshit that they wanted. I don't remember. Some woman stuff. I don't remember what it was. I was a, Probably some was fucking child. Spice Girls thing. It was like candles or something. It was what? like something really lame, like candle and Oh my God, we're going to get these candles. Yeah. And nobody was there for them. Yeah, but uh, we... Uh, we were at the mall and a fucking old lady stabbed a guy, dude. I don't know if it was like a, a crocheting needle or just a shank that she Like had. what kind of old lady are we talking about? How? Because how old are you? You're dude, like 20 when PS3 came out? No, no. I was, well, actually, yeah, maybe somewhere around there. Yeah. Uh, well, no, 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 no. That was uh, Xbox 360. PS3 was 2006, yeah, November. Yeah, so I was, yeah, that was 360 and PS3 were around the same time. So I was fucking 15. 
Oh wow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Fighting age, but yeah. not convicting age. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they nice. couldn't have thrown me away. But uh, yeah, dude, she fucking like shanked a guy, and it looked like a spike. So I'm guessing it was like a fucking crocheting needle or something. Oh, God. But yeah, over at PS3. How old was she? Dude, she was old, old enough to carry around crocheting needles in her that's purse. That's like seventies. That's yeah, that's an older woman. Yeah, she was at least in the seventies, close to eighties. But in there was no swiftness in her stab. So was like, was the pile getting low, or did she stab like like it was just it, to make sure it was uh, it like was unwarranted? There was plenty of PS3s. We were in line, and some dude. I don't know if he was like trying to pass her or what, but she just had that needle out and was just like doing some like little jabs with it. We were like, "Whoa, is this real? Is this really happening?" And and paramedics came joke. and just yeah. freaking broke no, everything. She, up. He was just like, "What the fuck, bitch!" And she just like was, I don't know, doing some wee stabs. He didn't even eat even press charges. No, yeah, it wasn't like enough to do like, to cause oh. damage. It was just like, oh, she like tried to do something, but she was far too. F- like, Dude, frail. he may have gotten his car and passed out. He may like she might have punctured a lung. She knew imagine, what she was doing. Imagine she just killed this man. Yeah, she's, she's probably a nurse. Stabs, dude. She's probably a nurse. She's, Somebody that's gonna do shit like that to go knows to. medical yeah. anatomy. Yeah, and was like going after a specific thing. She Statue of limitations board, yeah. on that, 2005, probably. I didn't care, man. She's old. You could like, recognize her in a line in a lineup. I know? could probably pick her out. Yeah. 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 She had Did like, you get a PS3? She had, yeah, yeah. Uh, I got a PS3. How'd but, you get one? Because I was there, dude. I, like it was this is a small <laughs> town, dude. This is a small town. Like still, how, how long did you have to drive to even get this? Like an hour and a half. Oh god. You, you, you live in a holler. That's how it is, man. You gotta <laughs> you gotta cross like three mountains to get to a wall. Three mountains? Yeah, scary mountains. Like <laughs> it's like one lane road. Curved mountains. If you come up with on people another, that have lived there for the last four hundred years, yeah, that are all related to each other, curve, it's like one of us is going into the ditch. You have to do it. But yeah, dude, I got it because like it's still small town. Like people are going nuts, but there's it's plenty. There's what plenty are you gonna do there. when you get home? Do you even have anything to plug it into? Yes, I wasn't like living in a tree or like with <laughs> dirt floors or something. But did y'all have electricity back then? Yeah, yeah we had that shit. We that shit ran on. What coal year did and you gas, get it, dude? What year did you get electricity? Uh, I think 2017 was when we got electricity. <laughs> <laughs> we are super excited to have Ghostbed as a sponsor. I have the Ghostbed Lux mattress, and they make premium mattresses for a reasonable price. We're all about the jokes around here, but honestly, nothing is funny when you're sleep deprived. If you're waking up in a bad mood from tossing and turning on an unsupportive mattress, I highly recommend upgrading to a ghost bed. For over two decades, this family-owned business has been crafting premium, innovative mattresses with a focus on quality and cooling. Each bed in the ghost bed line is a reflection of years of craftsmanship and finished with materials like contouring, gel, memory foam, and cool-to-the-touch quilted covers. They're also known for their excellent sales, which means you're paying a very reasonable price for a top-of-the-line product. Head on over to ghostbed.com backslash time for pie and get 50% off site-wide now. And don't forget... 50% off and free shipping. That's ghostbed.com backslash time for pie. <laughs> no, I had it my whole life, thankfully. Uh, Tim Montana didn't. Really? Tim Montana didn't get electricity until he was 18. Huh. And he grew up in Montana? Yeah. Hmm. In a mountain. Yeah. He's real, dude. Just like in a mountain. He's yeah. real, like dude. a caveman. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Outhouse. That's a fun way to live. Yeah. Yeah. All he had was a guitar. You look at him now. There's no PS3s. Yeah. Was it an acoustic guitar? Yep. That mm-hmm. makes sense. Yeah. Hey, too bad PS3 was fucking cool. Well, what 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 game launched with PS3 back then? Uh Cuz I remember I remember getting my PS2 for Christmas and that was Grand Theft Auto 3. That was like that was like the turn of video games. I'm going to say at least one that was really close was Infamous. Uh, that sounds about right. That was one that was like Really close to the yeah, I really think PS3, PS3 launched with like uh, they, yeah. Call of Duty 3. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Genji, Days of the Blade, mm-hmm. Madden uh, 07, Marvel Ultimate Alliance, Mobile Suit Gundam. I remember that one. Oh, Motor yeah. Storm. Uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance came with them. Oh, wow. Yeah. Came Need with for a Speed lot of Carbon. Them. Oh, yeah. Okay. I played that one. I think Infamous was the first game I bought for it. There was like a PS3 exclusive. Tony Hawk's Project 8. I don't remember that one. Huh. Hmm. Tony Hawk games got kind of... 
They got rinse silly. and repeat after two. Yeah, yeah they, they got kind of silly. I liked the underground ones. Those were fun. Underground one and two. I had a, a good time with those. But yeah, about after that was when. I mean, it just gets too difficult. Interest. Yeah, like even going back and playing the remastered Tony Hawk. HDs one and two, it like got to the point where it's like, this is too fucking hard. Yeah. And I'm not going to sit here for yeah. 13 hours a day until I can <laughs> mash yeah. buttons to get all these combos. It's like, dude, oh, I just, yeah. just want to skate, man. I just want to digitally skate. Just let me do it, dude. <laughs> Please stop making me do all this. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. But yeah, yeah, that was a, a fun, wild time. And then Metal Gear Solid. Snake Eater came out on three, right? Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. I actually had that. Uh, Who was that two? It was on two. PS2. Oh, wow. Yeah. So then four came out on three. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And four was like groundbreaking. Pretty cool. Yeah, that was a wild one. That was when he was. All, it was like Guns old, of the Patriot. Was that what it was? Snake. Old. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, man, Snake Eater. I'm I'm really excited for that. That remake, that's going to be a real good time. I hope they do good. I do too. Uh, I have a good, I have a good feeling that they're going to do good for it. So that'll be a lot of fun. I'm going to play the hell out of that. Play try and stream it a bunch too if I can. So, was that just like your Christmas present early then? If you just went to Black Friday yeah, and bought yeah, yeah. the PS3, so yeah, then you just like, had it for all of Christmas break, like yeah. instead of oh, yeah. having Christmas morning, you're just like playing PlayStation Three. Yeah. Uh, that was part of my Christmas. And then I just got like some, you know, like clothes and like a couple of, I think I got Infamous for Christmas. And some controllers. Like yeah, yeah. Like all the add-ons and some, you know, your Christmas Damn. outfits and stuff like that. The classic uh, cologne little box that's Is like that some, your sisters get you that? Yeah, usually. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you stink, big hey, man. you stink, boy. You're stinking. You keep clogging up the damn toilets <laughs> yeah, with their big God, shits. Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> my for real fucking nightmare as a, <laughs> as a child. Oh, just digging dude, that septic so line. Furious, man. <laughs> so furious. And yet, like the day it was so bad, it was pouring rain outside, and I was having to dig up the whole like septic line. Just me and my brother in law, and we were like tracing it, looking for like where it was fucked up. Dude, it was a nightmare. It was an all day thing. And and here you are, twenty years later. Yeah. And now you have, now you have like a, a farm of weird animals that you <laughs> constantly break things and yeah. get loose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You just wild. signed up for more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it's just even more wild. It's <laughs> it's a different thing. Cause then, yeah, yeah. It's not. At least as you're not awful. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Imagine your sisters like the sisters from Cinderella. <laughs> yeah, in a way. Yeah, yeah. In like, a clean way. our stuff, Cinderella. Yeah, yeah. And, the, <laughs> and yeah, they're just it, like, it yeah. was just kind of like that because I was the boy, and I was like, oh well, he's got to do this shit. We're all women. We we're not touching the shit. My mom would do all of it. Mom would usually be the first one doing crazy shit, and like digging fucking sewage lines and like running water hoses from the inside out of them and stuff. She was always, and still does that kind of shit, like always out in the yard. She can fix messes. the house. She, yeah, yeah. She builds shit and like fixes shit. Yeah, she's like a... Did you guys have a backup outhouse? Uh, no, no. That's too bad. Nope, yeah. We have one now. Yeah. You just leave that there forever. We could. Yeah. I think it's like $18 a month. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's a nice. good deal. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. We could we, we could tape a bunch of porn to the whole inside like That'd Billy Madison funny. did. Yeah, just make a little a little J O uh, <laughs> little J Shack. Yeah, the J Shack. <laughs> like Billy Madison. Yeah, man, have you ever jerked off in a porta potty? Yeah, I was deployed, dude. Oh yeah. Have yeah. you ever talked into a microphone? Have we? Sorry, were huh? we? Have we already talked about this? I think we did. Didn't we jerking probably. off in porta potties? Yeah, yeah I, think, I think we did. That's like, probably a segment somewhere. Yeah, yeah, somewhere we did. Back in the archives. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Take your hands off the wheel. Mm hmm. And scroll back, scroll find back, that spot find the timestamp, comment on this, and on say, this yes, video. You did talk about this, and here is where it is, stupids. It is. <laughs> Man, I saw a lot of commuters commenting this week. It was good. I like that. Yeah, it's 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 fun. It's yeah, that's that's nice. Letting us know that you're listening on the commute. I like yeah, I like wild seeing it. That they would. Uh, this is the first name they want to hear on their Tuesday mornings. <laughs> anyway. Some of them say they look yeah. forward to this yeah. day. Hey, awesome. That's what we and want. And they get to hear about frog burgers. Yeah, that possibly coming to a, a new burger joint near you. Oh, God. 
that's that's all we have frog burgers. Sorry, we've only got we just have a fucking slew of frogs we had to get rid of. <laughs> There's a Slo- yeah. we got that's frog burgers and we got six different types of milk. That's it. There's no soda. What kind of milk? <laughs> There's no sodas. There's no water. There's, There's just no milk. Ice. There's no ice. It's just milk. The milk's oh. cold though. So no, the milk's You can wash warm. down that frog real easy with milk. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of milk is there outside of regular and chocolate? Well, I mean, you have your regular. You, you're, we're we're going to have some whole milk. We'll have some skim for the people that some are trying thin to... thin milk. Yeah, some thin. Well, you know what? We'll even, we'll even throw in some fucking almond milk just, oh God. just for the people just for the who weak ones themselves. you can throw yeah. some goat in there yeah. goats, um, goats of milk you can do some goat milk in there yeah, yeah. I mean if, we're, if we got all this frog we got goat milk yeah. oh god yeah goat milk and frog burgers oh <laughs> that's like goat milk and frog like, burgers <laughs> It's like I'm gonna the, be sick. This is like something like a plague happened somewhere, and this is all that they have. Two more milks. Uh, we'll do chocolate. Chocolate. Yeah, throw a chocolate in there, and we got to have a really wild one for that last one. Let's make it some silly. Let's make a spicy milk. M- mustard. <laughs> mustard. <laughs> mustard milk. flavored milk. Oh yeah, it's yellow. Yeah, that'll go good with the frog it's burger. Yellow probably. milk. Yeah. yeah. What the hell is mustard in that milk? milk. <laughs> it's mustard. It's mustard milk. You put a little bit of mustard in this milk. <laughs> Why? It just really compliments it's, the frog. It really compliments the frog. Try it. Go ahead. No. <laughs> <laughs> just biting into it would a boiled it. frog. The dude. vinegar that's in. There's vinegar in mustard, right? Like what if you just bit? use powdered mustard? Oh. What? You could do it. Be yellow milk. Yeah. Let's might, try and make this. The only way you this get, is another one of your it. challenges. Yeah, because I think you would will it milk. That's, <laughs> will it that's milk? a video. That's a video we got to do soon. That's next week's video. Will oh it milk. My God. We're going to make will it milk next week, and you're going to be a part oh of it now. Oh, my God. Dude, Heather has to, too. Yeah. We're, we're going to make her milks. throw up. Yeah. Let's we're going to make her gain 30 yes, pounds and throw up. Yes. We're going to, yeah. let's just make milk, dude. Yeah. Out of, we're going to just get a bunch of stuff from the grocery a store. A ton of powders. Yeah, and just different stuff, and we're going to see what kind of milk we can make. What, will it milk? Yeah, will, will it milk? milk? Will it milk? I don't, I don't think that's been done before. Let me let me see if there's anything that says oh, yeah. will it milk as soon as, as soon as I type it up. Will it milk? I think I think we're free and clear. Ooh, Good oh, Mythical Morning Good did Mythical it. Morning already did it. What? Yeah, they already did will it milk, yep. Good myth- Mythical Morning? Yeah, I can't do did, that. Did I'll, they try mustard milk? See, here's the thing. We could have a better idea. If they just said, will it milk, maybe they're milking animals. They're making Cheeto milk and stuff like that. Uh, like, oh, see? they even went a step further, and it's will it milk shake. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay, they've done too many of them. Okay, so I can't I can't do that then. Darn it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll come up with something else. That was a good one, though. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we should just give Heather mustard milk. Yeah. <laughs> Here, try it. Hey, try it. And let's give it to her it's in, a, thick. In, it's, a, it's, in a baby bottle. Mm, she has to suck it through <laughs> there, dude. Because it's going to be thick, man. The vinegar isn't going to make it curdle. We're not using vinegar. I told you we use oh, powdered, powdered mustard. 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 It's just yellow powder. Mm. <laughs> I don't like the sounds of this. <laughs> dude, Why? Hey, you know something? One of my favorite things about living here in Texas, though? What? H-E-B, of course. But... Their milk selection. Oh, God. Dude, in real life, though, anyone else? Uh, we, and I'm sure we got plenty of listeners here in Texas. Man, let me know. I don't know what the, the name of the brand is, but it comes in the glass jars. Let me know your favorite flavor of milk from there, dude. Mine's root beer. What? Yes, huh? their root beer milk. What is wrong with Fuck, you? it's so good, dude. God. But right now they have a holiday one out that's butter pecan. And it's just okay, that's like, better than root beer. It's a ma- no, dude. It's just like a root beer float. Butter mac- pecan milk. I don't want a root beer float. In Why milk. not? You don't want to be like a milk. cowboy. Yeah. No, the, the cowboys root love float. root beer no, floats. No, they, yes, they root did. beer floats were like it's the nineteen fifties. Come on, they no, love that's nineteen that fifties. It's like yeah. literally Back to the Future type shit. Probably, but they loved that root beer. No cowboy ever had a root beer float, and they probably did. They probably mixed some root beer with their milk. No, I'm gonna yeah. call a cowboy. Go uh, ahead. See what he's saying. Oh, I will. He's going to be like, yeah, my grandpa loved root beer flats, dude. He's a thousand years old. No. Yeah, easy, no, man. But, dude, they have blueberry. They have strawberry, pumpkin spice. 
uh, butter pecan. Yeah, blueberry, strawberry, understandable. Butter yeah, pecan, delicious. you're kind of pushing it. Root beer, you're a fucking psychopath. No, 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 dude, no. I remember the last time I got it, some woman in the checkout line judged me, and I was like, no. I was like, she's like, mm, I'm not really a fan of milk. I was like, well, then your opinion does not matter here, bitch. Then do wow. not talk to me about milk, whore. <laughs> <laughs> and then I walked out with my milk. And That's I drank. what she said? Yeah, I said it all. Uh, I looked her right in the eyes. I said, do not talk to me whore about milk. <laughs> whore. <laughs> yeah. I said in, in Bernie's in, H-E-B. In <laughs> you were fucking up a Bernie mom, dude. A Bernie no, she mom. she was young. She didn't know shit about milk. I was saying last night, I yeah. really want to, I was thinking about in the Bernie Facebook group, like, uh, like trying to start a Bernie Ashley Madison, but, but it's not anonymous. Okay. So it's just like soliciting people that want to cheat. Do it. <laughs> it's a horrible yeah, idea. just do it. But they're going to they're gonna reject they're, it immediately. Maybe. Like, hey, we're holding a meeting for uh, people that want to join the Bernie Ashley Madison. And also hold a casting call for Rotate. <laughs> I saw a lot yeah, of comments yeah. about rotating. It's not yeah. cheating, it's acting. Yeah, yeah that's come acting. Come on, honey, this isn't cheating. I'm just acting. No, no, they I have to get an award. You have to join it too. Yeah. You're we part have to of this. practice making out, honking your tits. Like, we have to practice <laughs> it. It's for the show. It's for the show. Yeah, I got to make sure, I got to check their honkability. <laughs> like, that's how you check. Got to give a it a honk score. You got to yeah. test. You gotta we got test a honk it. meter. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that'd be fun. You should do that. <laughs> yeah, just roll them up. See what they say. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. I, I've got that, and I'm gonna do the. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna make a fake proposal that I'm trying to propose that we section off a portion of Bernie Lake for uh, large appliance and, and crude oil dumping. Okay. And be like, hey, I'm taking this to city council. Does anybody want to sponsor it with me? And then watch them all implode. Excuse me, what? <laughs> Wait, you're trying to section off part of Bernie Lake to dump oil in it? Yeah. yeah. Come on, it's a great lake. <laughs> like, yeah. We could store I've so much, much oil. oil. I don't know where to <laughs> so put it. We could store so much oil here. I've been burying it in my yard. In everything the, is dying. <laughs> every, dog, all the all my dogs are dying. die. <laughs> I need to put this oil in the lake. Uh, my wife is sick and the dogs keep dying. I keep burying it under the house and everybody's sick. What am sick. I supposed to do with all this oil? I've been flushing it down the toilet. <laughs> you know how busy Take 5 is? Like Dude. they need a place to put that oil. How much trouble do you think you're getting in if you just flushed oil down your toilet? <laughs> 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 First, like a drum, like a drum. Of oil. Should we try? Should we try it and see what happens? Like, we just order a. We're <laughs> on a. Let's just let's just order a drum of oil and then just pump it directly into the toilet. We are on a septic <laughs> tank. Just, no, no. The only well, person go that's going to be affected is. We're trying to rinse place. We'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> As soon as we get into his house, before we put any you furniture, get him, you get this on his credit that he was evicted from a from an apartment the first week because he was dumping oil <laughs> down the toilet. It's just like dirty oh oil, dude. It's got, God, it's got dude. pieces of metal. Yeah, you go to it, like dude. take five. You're like, give me your catch tank. Yeah. What are you doing with this? Oh, don't worry, we're just don't dumping worry. it down the toilet. We're I'm dumping this shit down the toilet, dude. <laughs> Nobody will ever see it again. Don't worry, dude. I got Don't this. Don't worry, dude. I don't have to get rid of it. No, dude. We got it. <laughs> yeah. Just that on his record. Like where he goes, he's going to another apartment. <laughs> and they're like, uh, we we called uh, Legacy yeah. Apartments and they said that you were evicted in four days mm. for dumping oil. It's a hundred gallon <laughs> drum of oil. <laughs> I didn't know where else to put it. <laughs> the dogs were getting sick back home. <laughs> My wife got sick. Everybody was sick, dude. Yeah. I just needed to get it down the toilet. Yeah. And then, and then and then and then, like on the other end though, is you've got the guy that's at the that's at the treatment plant that's like watching the the, the intake that's coming in. And he's yeah. like, Well, I had never seen this shit before. Yeah. What's going on here? All the all the screens it's on are clogged. Fire. Yeah. <laughs> A it's fire a star. <laughs> Everyone, the toilet explodes. <laughs> you burn Bernie's sewage plant to the yeah. ground, and it's out. they can't build another one for like fucking months. Yeah, so no one can slowly flush. burn. Yeah, 
So there's just hundreds and thousands of porta potties delivered to the city of Bernie. You single handedly like fuck this whole city up. I mean, and you get everybody to sell their homes, and then when it was all said and done, we sweep in. Yeah, we're just here. We own Bernie. Yeah, that's it. This is this is the fucking. We will own Bernie. Dude, we just go. We rent. This is like some Fight Club stuff, man. We yeah. put it together. We'll just rent like twenty apartments <laughs> for a short period of time, and we just dump. 100 gallons of oil into each apartment complex. And we'll send Brent down yeah. to the treatment center and start throwing matches yeah, into, the, just, the, into can, the drum. We'll get him, he'll get a job there. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. we can dress him up. We'll send him to college to learn, uh, like, the treatment plant stuff. Or we you could know. forge yeah, yeah. Yeah, we the could do documents. Yeah. Like, I could Photoshop his college degree. Yeah, yeah, that's that'd easy. be fun, too. Uh, I've got, I've got a... I've got a degree from Josh Hopkins. Yeah, we'll get him a fake, big fake mustache too. Yeah, like, I want that. Yeah, yeah. like a, a I'm good a medical one. doctor. Yeah, you know, uh, speaking of uh, just to cut off of that for a second, speaking of just learning to put big mustaches, and I've been thinking about doing this thing where I get a new hairstyle every month and I go get it professionally installed, <laughs> and it's like one of the really nice wigs. <laughs> Why are we doing this on the show? <laughs> I thought it would be funny. Oh my if I God. like one day I just come back and I have a black beard and black eyebrows and like a really nice long black full head of yeah. hair and I'm just a different person for a month. And then the next month, you know, maybe I have like long braided like Viking hair that's just like really long, like just insane. And then one day I come back and I have like a, a red mohawk or something. It's just each month it's different. But Why it's professional, so yeah. it looks real. Why aren't we doing this? I mean, I don't know why I wouldn't. You should. I should. You've got it. the head for it. Yeah, there's nothing there. I got a yeah. whole canvas, blank canvas. Yeah. That I could just be putting all these cool hairstyles yeah, on. Yeah, crazy hairstyles too. Yeah, just silly yeah. all the time. Yeah, like one time you Dreads. did a clown. Just, just a huge red afro. Full yeah. Sideshow Bob. Yeah, no, no, no. Red afro. So yeah, like cartoon like, red. Yeah, like he like, looks like Ronald McDonald. Yeah, like a demon. And he just wears yellow shirts. Yeah. That's me for a month. <laughs> And he just wears, it's a yellow shirt with yeah. white letters that say P-H-U-C-K. Okay. People are like, what? <laughs> You're like, I'm fuck the clown. <laughs> of Asian honk. descent. <laughs> honk, honk. <laughs> oh, God, so I can't believe scary. we're about to take over Bernie. Yeah, it's a good idea. I think uh, you and I should run for mayor. I mean, we, who's going to stop us once we own it? No, I mean, uh, we, we should put general. the billboard up. That's the next yeah. billboard is us running for mayor. Damn. Co-running yeah. for mayor? Yeah, co-running. Co-mayor. Because this job is large. Mm -hmm. And we need two large boys yeah. Yeah. to <laughs> run this town. Yeah. This for is a large, a large town. Of a large job, large boys. Large boys. <laughs> large town, <laughs> large job, large, large boys. boys. Vote for us. Vote together. for us. Together. <laughs> Like, what? This billboard is, yeah, it's an electronic a... billboard. No, no, no. I mean, this one we're... plays a commercial. <laughs> <laughs> it plays that I mean, we commercial. could probably drop these commercials off to places like Sauce and just have them loop them. You think they would? Yeah. Hmm. I mean, we've 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 patroned enough in that yeah. place that they they would be like, yeah, we'll play you guys' commercial. Yeah, sure, we'll throw that. Or we could there. we could have the campaign launch party there. What if we, we could just have... pay for like a singular TV setup in each of these? Places and we just run what we want on each we, TV. We could, yeah. How much do you think they'd charge us a month just to have a TV that plays things that we like on? We it? would. A we need to ask Sauce. To yes. Us. Yeah. Hey, we want to put our own TV up in here that just, just plays, plays our ads. Make. Yeah. How much would that cost? <laughs> <laughs> because be if it's digital, dude, that'd be funny. We yeah. could have things that are so fucking yeah. crazy up there. Sure we have some horse meat brand cheese, yeah. fucking frog, frog burger, yeah, yeah, frog burger, dude. Like everything. Mm, welcome to frog burgers. Welcome to frog burgers. Yeah. Home of the frog burger. Yeah. yeah. Take your order, dude. Just biting into that bloated, boiled frog, and it just squirting pond hot water, fucking yeah, hot pond water, and and grease just all in your fucking mouth. Oh dude. god. And it's slimy skin yeah. and bones, and that you know that skin's getting stuck to the roof of your mouth, and you got to chew hot. the you're bones like, <sighs> like through the shoulder blade yeah. and the rib cage. Yeah. Just <laughs> yeah, you're chewing on those things. Man. Yeah, that would be, uh, go ahead and take your hands off the wheel right now, cut and close your eyes. Mm -hmm. We would let's go ahead and close them again. Close your eyes, and I want you to do this by just feeling your iPhone and comment on the video. Mm -hmm. Yay for Frog Burger! Now keep your eyes closed. Use the sounds mm -hmm. around you in the traffic to guide you where you're going. And in three, two, one, go ahead and Come resume back to driving. Us. Yep.
If you're still listening, congrats. Congrats, you're still alive. Yeah, you, you've made it again. <laughs> you are one of the Lord's chosen ones. Yeah, you are absolutely chosen if you've done this many times. Yep, we are telling you right now. Yeah. Like, this is it. This is how we find you. Yeah. I mean, seeing all the comments this last week shows me that doing our first Time for Pie live event is going to be phenomenal. Mm -hmm. uh, because Where I are we going to do this? Anyway? We should probably do it in Austin. It's true. an easy place yeah, for people true. to get to. It's true, true, easy true. for us to go there. You think... Uh, or maybe we do it in Bernie. Because once this billboard goes up, I yeah. mean, Bernie's going to be our biggest place. Um, when we look at our analytics and stuff, does it show where most of our listeners are from? Uh, let me it, check. I mean, you said there was fucking people in Finland. I mean, that's cool. That's And that's remember that guy helpful. commented on the video. He's like, yeah. I'm the listener from Finland. <laughs> because you said there's one from Finland. I wonder yeah, if there's like, it's, me, it's, it's me, it's me, it's me. That's me, that's me. Yeah. I'm the only one in Finland that knows who you are. It's me. He needs to do a better job telling people. Yeah. He should spread the word. Yeah. Though. You know, Andy Frisella says you got to pay your dues. Mm -hmm. share, pay those dudes. Share, sh pay, pay the, the dudes. 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 Oh, is that what he says? Uh, maybe. Pay those dudes? Pay the dudes. Okay. Dudes paid. Well, we don't know... Who the dudes are? <laughs> yeah, but you pay them though. Yeah, share the show. Can yeah. we make that a shirt? Just dudes, dudes paid. paid. I, I dudes want it to. Paid. Yeah, I want yeah. It to for a while. Let's do that. Yeah, that's a really funny time for dudes pie paid. show. <laughs> yeah, dudes paid. Bam. Yeah. I mean, it's a, it's our it's our workout line. No, it, yeah, dudes paid. I just, I, and they're like, what does that mean? It's like I paid off my trainer to just say that I went. Dudes oh, paid, dude. Dudes paid. Dudes paid. Okay, so we are. Oh yeah. Uh, Thirteen percent. Of our listeners are in Texas. Okay. Wow, that's okay. gonna be probably the uh, mass. That's good. Majority coming in a somewhat close second is ten percent are from California. Whoa, <laughs> whoa! Who are all these people in California that are secret, <laughs> secret cool people <laughs> living in a horrible state? Well, I mean, California, Oregon, and Washington are all the same. It's just that little sliver closest to the ocean yeah. is the shitheads. Man, they're beautiful. And then the rest of the state, state is just yeah. like, like normal angry people. that they're associated yeah. with them. Yeah, yeah that's true. Like, hey, that's dude. true. I know how to run a chainsaw, man. Don't confuse me with Play, them hey, folk. Whoa, whoa. Hey, take it easy, dude. I run a chainsaw. I know how to run a chainsaw. Yeah. I live in the fucking Redwood Forest. Oh, that's I'm a logger. I yeah. will drop that tree on yeah. any chipmunk you show me. Yeah. It's fucking blast. Loggers, yeah, yes. You're starting a YouTube channel. Yeah, I mean it's it's the YouTube channel I've always had, but like yeah, I just never really did a whole lot of long bit at all. Yeah, like really. So I decided to, you know, why not? I'm already doing this stuff, and I'll have the means and opportunity to make longer videos now. So yeah, I posted the first one last week. Uh, then next another one goes, one goes up, up tomorrow. Friday and tomorrow. Yeah, and then this and will be up then, Tuesday, so you can go yeah, look, yeah. go yeah, watch yeah, this, this will video. Be up Tuesday, so go check out uh, my video and let me know what you think. <clears throat> We're gonna start. This one's just kind of more of a, a vlogish type video. This one, uh, but you had to be a mix of just a little bit of everything. Yeah, it was us building yeah. the range. Yeah, yes, yeah, working on the range, then testing it out, doing some goofy shit, uh, Brent, trying out some new guns. Yeah, yeah, trying out a handful of guns. Brent doing some fun editing and uh, silly shit. So, yeah, it's gonna be fun. Uh, we'll film something new next week that that won't be uh, range related. Just kind of keep it, you know. Sandwich challenge. Yeah, what, that's day uh, in the life. What it's like to work with Heather. Yeah, uh, that could be funny. That would actually be funny, yeah. especially if you guys wrote it and it's yeah. just like super ridiculous. Yeah, looking for bones and st things like that. <laughs> We're like constantly. Like, all right, from constantly two to three, and off the road to pick up dead animals. <laughs> from two to three is cry time. What's huh? cry time? Well, it's exactly what it sounds like. And it's like loud cry. <laughs> <laughs> Like, and oh, you're oh like, God. are you okay? She's like, yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm What's fine. wrong with you, How dude? You this cry time. Oh, all right. It's Stop healthy. interrupting. This is healthy. This is healthy. These are healthy cries. Oh. This, is, this is what keeps my abs. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> smart. Yeah. Super smart. That'd be fun. There's so much we could do. Dude. With your channel. Anything and everything. That's the, I mean, that's because that's my content in general. I don't do just one thing, so I don't yeah. want my YouTube channel to be one thing. I think thing. I want to switch mine over to just be the BR, the Black Rifle Garage, BRG. Sure. And that's it. It's yeah. all motor related, okay. whether it's the dirt bikes yeah. or the miniature okay. Jeep that we have. That thing's oh, cool yeah, as hell. That is cool. You should oh, yeah, do a I'm, whole review on that thing. You should jump it. You should. You should build a jump somewhere. Here. You want me to jump the Jeep? Yeah. The children's Jeep. Are you scared? Was it you that showed me the, the dude out of Utah that did like a fucking ridiculous road trip on one of those baby Jeeps? No. What? I haven't seen that. That's cool. Who showed that to me? Anyway, somebody showed that to me. And someone took 
one of those Jeeps. They started in Salt Lake, and I think they went past uh, the Salt Flats, and they tried to, like, loop down through all those missile ranges you can't go into and then had to, like, turn back and come back all the way around. But it's this dude that, like, he usually is on a motorcycle and does, like, these insane road trips on a motorcycle. But he went, like, thousands of miles on a fucking little baby Jeep like yours. That's that doesn't sound cool. fun. No, yeah, it was, it's he cool. hated it. Like, I mean, you're just awful. like, yeah. yeah. And it wasn't like, oh, I'll drive for a day and grab a hotel. Like, he set up a tent next to the baby Jeep and, like, slept in anthills and shit. And had to gas that thing up a lot. Like, really. every hour. <laughs> yeah. Cause well, I think he had, like a, like, a jerry can with him. Well, you're going, like, 20 miles an hour, so that ain't crazy bad. Well, it has no suspension, so he was getting beat up the whole time. Mine, yeah. uh, mine has a good suspension, Shit. but it's not good for I'm, jumping. Like, I don't want to break it. Be. It's the kid's Jeep. Oh, let me make a tiny They drive it fucking four times a day. Oh. That's a lot of driving. <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> There's so many things for them to drive. <laughs> You're like, I haven't seen them on that since huh? the day you brought the it home. First day? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> day one. Yeah, there's too many things to yeah. drive. Yeah. They got the dirt bikes and the quad. Yeah, but The Jeep and the Razor. Yeah. A lot of them. All the tiny motorcycles, all the electric bikes. Electric bikes. Yeah, there's a lot. Forgot about those. Yeah. What happens when they can reach the pedals on the real cars? Shit gets they can scary. drive the cars. Yeah. <laughs> That's when shit gets scary, dude. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'll have her, I'll probably have her in the Fiesta by the middle of next year. Is she tall enough even? She could be. You boost your seat. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Okay. We could build a special seat. I'll get her, I'll get her to be able to drift the, the corner. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be awesome. Just taking out the yeah, Just set up yeah. one of the cars now with like the handicap hand controls. Yeah. <laughs> so oh, they don't so even need the just hand drive. <laughs> yeah, they don't even need the pedals. Just get them into it now. <laughs> That'd be cool. I'm taking her on a rally. Oh yeah, you were talking about that. She's gonna co-drive. Yeah. In her in the Fiesta. Wow. Oh yeah, she could co-drive like a sprint because you already know the course. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll give her the notes. Okay. That's the funny part. Yeah. <laughs> Is hearing a baby go <laughs> left three. <laughs> If you want to hear what baby sounds like, just listen to anything with KJ. Right, right, two, <laughs> Titans, one, <laughs> 200, yeah. left four. Like, <clears throat> I want to hear this. I want this recording. And yeah, it, it's going to give KJ, I mean, this will be the first time somebody's smaller than KJ in a rally car. That's just a, f that'd be a freaking cool video yeah. in general. That'll yeah. be, that'll be one that like, like does good. Princess child. Yeah, you know, tiny. Like a car. Tiny. Yeah. <laughs> giving you all the. Well, I need to get Dave down here because we are one of my first videos for Black Rifle Garage is we're going to design the ultimate heist getaway vehicle. Oh. And then we're going to build it. And, and then we're, then gonna we're rob gonna, rob uh, uh, bang. No, we're going to rent. <laughs> we're going to rent the Coda Racetrack mm, and have Austin PD try to the declaration <laughs> of independence. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I like how you walked me there. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if that puts us on some That's sort your of idea. <laughs> That's my idea. Did I just get put on yeah, a list? Yeah. I hope I don't. Yeah. I, mean, I hope I'm not on the list. Bank robbing vehicle. And the first thing you said was you wanted to steal the Declaration of Independence. So I'm just here, man. <laughs> I don't think that's how this went down. Oh. That's what it felt like. No, we're going we're gonna to go on Coda and we're going to have okay. the police chase us and shoot at you. No. Oh. Come on. Come on. Uh, come, come on. on. <laughs> this, is a, this is a driving it's so scenario. <laughs> It's not boring. Well, they could shoot at you a little. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Just we can ask the track, okay. but I have a feeling the track has oh, yeah. there's insurance issues. Yeah, if there's a with crowd, the police, wait, they're shooting at you. Ricochet. Yeah, I mean, obviously not on like the straight in front of the pit row, but yeah. like on the the far end of the track, sure. <laughs> pow, pow, pow. Yep, <laughs> nothing going through. Only small bullets. Kind of like when you were shooting. When you were shooting, when I was jumping the razor? Yeah, dude. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah, you were uh, flying over, and then I, I was trying to just shoot as many as I could under you. That wasn't safe. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't happen, though. <laughs> That's actually a joke. That's a joke. Just so everyone knows. <laughs> that was a joke. But we fixed the but problem. Yeah, though. yeah, it would have been fun. Because we have a nice range. Yeah, now. yeah. Good. Uh, I think we need to put some back. stones out there. Some stones? Some retaining wall. Oh, yeah. Fucking cement stones. That'd be cool. Yeah. Some gravel. Yeah, make Picnic area. Yeah, get a couple picnic tables over there. Probably a some... vending machine or something. I think I think we need to do a camping trip. Just somewhere or over no, there? No, at the range. Oh. I mean, that'd be easy. Once we put the once we yeah. put the picnic tables and the fire pit in. Yeah. Because then we could take the girls camping. Yeah. 
Uh, speaking of sleeping at the farm, how's the house doing? Well, well they, I mean, they came and know, checked it out. The donkey milk shits. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got the majority of that cleaned they cleaned, up. They it's cleaned stained. A lot of it up. It is stained. It is stained yeah, with shit. Donkey milk piss. shit. Yeah. <laughs> donkey milk shit they're, sinks into wood grain. Yeah. They're pretty Especially when it's untreated. Mm-hmm. They're pretty yeah. confident that they can uh, they think they sand can, it, yeah. though, from the way they were talking. Yeah. Okay. So it's just like top level yeah, stain. Yeah, yeah. So they're going to see. He said he's we'll going to sand, yeah. uh, sand it a bunch and see what it looks like. Do the the rest of the floor in the kitchen, get all that going. And uh, it's apparently that's a pretty big crew and they know what they're affecting. Yeah, we had to hire a crime scene cleanup crew. Yeah. He's yeah, that was my next question. Is like, did any contractors turn that, that one down? No, he was like, we got a special crew for that. Yeah, they clean up crime scenes. Because they go to like places like this regularly. They're like places yeah. that have burnt up. Or okay. Barf just, and, yeah, just and like blood. Crazy shit. Okay. Yeah. And corpses. Yeah, like, like they them up put them all in the remodeled. bags and stuff or they cut them up and get them into the Melt bags. Them. Me- Eat them, like whatever. What? They get rid of them. Melt they them? get rid of them. Oh. Well, this oh, yeah. might have been an easy job for them. It's like, oh, it's just animal food. Oh, it's just oh, a yeah, bit of donkey poop. shit. Oh, it's fine. Easy. I've got a respirator. Girl. Yeah, she said she could see them on the uh, cameras most of the day. Like anytime they would go in and out for something, they would like stop and play with the donkeys and pet the sheep and stuff and then go back in and work for a couple hours. And So they, they didn't seem like they were upset yeah. or held a grudge over having to clean their shit, so... Well, I, I mean, mean, when that's your business, yeah, yeah. The donkey literally the worst got them out there for a paying job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Why the not? The worst be nice to do to is it? the better. The better your single job's going to be. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's good news. Yeah, yeah. And that'll be a, a a nice place over there when it's done. That bathroom that in the kids' room is really killer. Well, I mean, the kids' room sleeps like forty people. It's pretty wild. Uh, I mean, we could that's hold like a, a child's we dream. We could hold bedroom. a boys' night over there. Yeah, you could start, start a cult. Or, in that you could start an orphanage because there, there could be one, two, three, yeah. four, five, six, and then the loft. Yeah, six in the loft. Six in the loft. Yeah, dude, we could have a whole party. Yeah, we all could night. Put six in the loft or six and a loft. Six and a loft. And yeah. a loft. Yeah. Like okay. a king bed. Yeah. So you could have oh. seven in one room. Yeah, There's six bunk beds. Yeah, and each bunk bed is a queen. Is a queen yeah, size right. bed. I've seen the room. I just didn't yeah. count all the beds. It's crazy. Pretty wild. See, we should go camping yeah. soon. Yeah, yeah. We'll bring everybody. We'll get an invitation. Like, you just have to have your tent and your supplies. Mm-hmm. Easy. That would be funny okay. because now's the time to do it when it's cold. Yeah. Because we can sit by a fire. And enjoy it and, and not and sweat. Like be, yeah, you don't want to yeah. do this when it's hot. No. I hate being in a This is a great video, though. Yeah. Could be. We go camping. Yeah. And we're just at the range. Yeah. I mean, funny. we're in the woods. Yeah. Technically. Is it still camping if you own the land? Maybe. I mean, there was a country singer that got lost on his own land. It's pretty funny. I mean, that's kind of a stretch. Call kind of country. embarrassing. Unless it was like thousands of acres. No. It was like 60. Oh. <laughs> what? He had, to, he had to call the paramedics. Was he old? Dave, look it up. Nope. <laughs> It's somebody, yeah, the guy's name. somebody pretty, pretty. You'll know exactly who it is. Like I mean, sixty acres. Yeah, that's the farm. Yeah, and he got lost on that. Oh, uh, Kane Brown. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> what? Yeah, you had to call like the fucking paramedics and shit. Uh, I don't, I don't know, man. So that's what throws me though. Is like, if you have cell signal, you have GPS signal. Oh. Use the fucking phone that you're on to be like, oh, this way. Dude, how old is this guy? Trust me, I don't get it either. Uh, he looks like, like a child. late 20s, 30s maybe. Oh, shit. Yeah. Damn. I like, oh, like, yeah. okay, he, got, he got roasted quite a bit. Yeah, it's like, okay, like, he's like Especially early from 20s. old school country people that are like actual farmers yeah. and stuff. Like, what? They did crazy shit. Like, you got lost on in Nashville acres. on 60 acres. <laughs> and you called the paramedics? <laughs> <laughs> they had to come find you. Search and rescue had to find you. They had to walk like 200 yards. <laughs> they're like, they probably pulled up to his house. They're like, all right, where are you? Kane, in the saw him. We're Over like, here. Hey, okay, tur- turn it. around. Hey, Kane, walk, Kane, walk turn way. around. <laughs> and he's like on his phone crying. He turns around. He's like, oh, oh, thank God. Oh, thank you guys God. found me. I thought I was going to starve out here. <laughs> <laughs> that might just be a mental problem, dude. <laughs> That's the thing. You can't make that up. Yeah. Like you Somebody, think that sounds. Can we, uh, can we get some people from the chat to send Kane Brown a helmet? <laughs> <laughs> be 
you could do that. That'd be great. <laughs> Something's wrong there, dude. It says, Navi- it says Magellan. Yeah. We a, should have him a, get a, a GPS a, on that helmet. helmet painted that says yeah. Magellan. Yeah. Send it to him. Yeah. I've seen him before in Nashville. He came into a place, me and Jason Rao were hanging out. He came in and picked up a to-go order of food. Man, I mean, I don't, I don't think I can't name, name any of his songs. I probably know them if I heard them. Yeah, but he's uh, pretty, yeah, pretty yeah. pop country. Yeah, uh, man, that sucks. That was a really just a super embarrassing thing to happen. Yeah, that's too bad. He, uh, maybe he needs to come hang out with us for a little while, and we'll man him up. Yeah, maybe we teach know? him how to navigate in the woods. There's a there's a shitbag little YouTuber that I, I hate him so much, but I feel like he's he's just this young little shit. And uh, I feel like he needs to just come spend a week with me and let me fucking just beat the shit out of him for a whole week to, like, oh, teach him manners. Uh, I got to find his name. Is it the guy who, like, bullies people? Yeah, it's the one He's that has the his, bodyguard? his bodyguard. Oh, that yeah. little shit. Yeah. I've yeah, dude. And it's like a foreign bodyguard, too, dude. He's like Uganda or I don't even know how that's, like that. how that's legal, yeah. you know? There's no way that it is, man. It's like... It's like almost like an, an assault, and then like someone threatening to was it fight Jack you. Doherty? Yep, Jack yeah. Doherty. And I went on to his, uh, I went on to his his kick stream the other day. Made me a little even shit more want to fucking like. How old is he? Probably like twenty one, twenty two. Uh-huh. Dude, but he's these, just a shit, dude. It's these dudes that are like, oh, Aiden got popular for being a shit bag. Well, let me be even more of a shit Yeah, have bag. you seen this dude, Neon? Uh, I, th- I think I know He's another about. little shit. Yeah. It's weird, man. It's weird that Like, so, they go are, around yeah. streaming and just fuck with people. Yeah. And it's like the rudest shit. Like, how are, are they getting so popular? But the thing is, it's like, dude, you and I could literally take out both of their security guys... One of us, could, yeah, easy, like, like instantly, yeah. And I will, I will have my hands on you, like, that's like this whole like him getting in the way, like it will be a quick fucking swipe, and yeah. then you're getting fucking a left jab right yeah. in the teeth, like, dude. No and that's no the thing, like, what? Well, but I, I don't <clears> think they. This kid looks like a chubby faced version of the bad kid from Toy Story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, is much. A, he definitely is a child. He's got like that broccoli, or hair. like the kid, yeah. he he's like the bully from. Uh, a Christmas story that lost a bunch of weight. Yeah, yeah. It's just crazy that so many of these people that suck so much are so popular and they have such die hard fans. Like it's really weird. Every now and then it's disheartening. Yeah, every now and then you'll see them like do something nice for somebody because they have so much money. But it's like it's not like a they're not actually like just being nice. They're like yeah, you know, I, fuck it, I, I got to do this thing because I suck so much. Like I oh no, it's I like got to do a, a going um, in on a stream. Yeah, like. You can tell, like, like, here's the thing. This is not sustainable. Yeah. Like, he's going to fucking blow through all all the money that he's made now. This whole thing's going to go away, or he's going to do something super stupid that's going to fuck him over. Yeah. And then it's going to, and then he's going to be, like, on drugs and, like, just a fucking sleazebag for the rest of his life. But, like, going on a stream, like, he just has, he's renting this, like, bougie ass LA mansion and he's got like five, six, seven of his buddies that are living there. There's no furniture at all. Yeah. Like like there's nothing like they're not good to this house. It's like, yeah. dude, everything was trash. Like I watched him. He's in his room, his room's trash. Most he goes these, downstairs. Most of them are like that. It's man. all they, trash. They, the, like, these really popular streamers, like they don't have shit in their houses, dude. Like they don't have like basic furniture or like <laughs> basic nice things. They're just in like an empty house with like a few random chairs that like all their buddies sit in. It's really fucking weird. Yeah. And, and it, it was, he was live streaming a party yeah. that he was having and it was like disgusting. Yeah. Disgusting. You think shit like this is like plants? I don't know. Like, like people, like they're just, people force them to become popular. Like it's like they're being pushed to do these things just for some who knows what reason? I don't know. No, I think yeah. it. I think it's... It just almost seems so unreal because it's so goofy. Like, it's like this little random 12-year-old boy is just, like, ass- literally assaulting people and has, like, a foreign bodyguard who threatens to beat them up after they've just got assaulted, basically. 
and but there's like a slew of these kids that are popular. Like it's so weird. That yeah, but I think that they're they're thrust into it, and then they they get obsessed with the character and they yeah. play into the character. Yeah, yeah. Where you probably didn't start out it like this, but yeah. he did something acting like an asshole, and it got a bunch of views. Okay. So he kept doing it. That makes sense. And too. and then yeah. now it's like now he has, has completely become, become that. Yeah. And is also like so spoiled that like like again like you're talking about this kid has never really had to do anything hard in his life. Yeah, probably like never even had a normal job. No. Yeah. He's 20 21 yeah. 22. Like he's never been pushed. He's yeah. never had to do something he didn't want to. He's like, like it's like yeah, well that's going to give you a lot of character flaws. <laughs> Weird. Yeah. Weird stuff. Weird. Well, a lot of little famous uh Hopefully Beach you survive boys. this uh, commute, ladies and gentlemen. We, yeah. we love you for it. Yeah. I'm, uh, thank you so much uh, for closing your eyes all these times and just believing in us. Yeah. Letting us guide you yeah. and on then, your drive to work. And for those who probably crashed during those, sorry. R.I.P. I hope you're okay. Or, uh, or if you're rest not, in peace, yeah. for sure. Yeah. You know, thanks we'll for see listening. You. Thanks for being the last, you know, thing we you heard. Much love. It was us. All right. We love you. We'll see you next time.